Hi Cancer, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your May 2022 weekly reading. So I'm pulling your I'm pulling your um, oracle cards and next I'm going to pull your tarot. Spirit, can I have the oracle for ca Cancer? Wow. <laughs> How funny. Bone collector. All right. Um, I know you can't see these cards clearly, but I will pull them forward to the camera. So hopefully you can see them as I'm doing the reading, Cancer. So can I have the, and I've already pre-shuffled all these cards several times. Can I have the present position for Cancer, please? Present position for Cancer for May 2022, please, for the this current week. Can I have the present position, Spirit? Thank you. We've got the three of coins. Thank you. We've got the two of coins in the reverse. Thank you. We've got the Seven of Coins, sorry, Seven of Swords in the um, upright position. Let me just move these down a little bit. One more for the present position, thank you. And we've got the Nine of Cups. Spirit, can I have the Strength for this week for Cancer? We have the Hermit in the upright position. We have, oh my Lord, these cards are just flipping out for you. We have the Eight of Cups in the, you want it in the upright? Thank you. Eight of Cups in the upright. The Strength, thank you. you we've got the Five of Swords in the reverse. One more for the strength spirit. One more for the strength, please. Thank you. You want it flipped up, right? Not yet? Okay, thank you. Can I have the challenge? For those of you that subscribe, follow, like, share the video, thank you so much for doing that. That does really help the channel. I know I have very loyal um viewers on the cancer readings and i just want to thank you for helping me get this channel seen on youtube so new people can see it and my intention is always to help so i really hope that you find these readings helpful um, and please continue to engage spirit may I have the challenge can you clarify the emperor in the reverse then? Thank you. Which way? This way? Oh, <laughs> okay, thank you. Anything else for the, yeah? Ace of Swords is in the challenge in the reverse. One more. This is a general reading, Cancer, so um, apply it to the situation that makes sense for you. Which way? Uh, we have the Ten of Coins and we have the High Priestess uh, coming out together. And can I have what is the outcome for Cancer, please? You want it in the upright? You want it in the reverse? Can I have the outcome, please? What is this? Can I put it back and start again? Can we break the energy? Can I take this one back as well? It doesn't feel right. Thank you. Okay. 
Can I have the outcome for Cancer? Which way? Upright. Eight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Thank you. And the full card. Okay, Cancer. For those of you that have never seen me before, I am a psychic and a medium. I'm not a book learned tarot reader. So when I do readings right here in the present position, this particular row right here, this indicates whether this is your reading or not. Now, if you can take what is happening in the first row, if it, if it applies to what's going on in your life right now, then this is your reading. You can look at the rest of the reading. If it doesn't apply to what's going on in your life right now, what may be happening is you're watching the reading too early and you do need to come back um, the following few weeks, put the reading in a playlist and come back and look at the reading, the present position then. If at that point the reading still doesn't make sense and this is not your reading. And just to put it into context, whenever I read for my own zodiac sign, it, all, and it never makes sense to me. And um, when viewers will leave uh, comments on my particular zodiac sign, well, I do this with all zodiac signs, but I will go back and read the comments and rewatch the video to understand the context of what they're talking about in the reading. And then I will then see that um, there's been like everything applies, everything in the reading applies. It's just that I couldn't take it at the time of the reading. So don't worry, you're not the only one. It happens to me with every single zodiac reading that I do for my own horoscope. And it always has been that way. Now, what I have for you in the present position, Spirit, bring it forward. I have the three of coins in the upright position. I have the two of coins in the reverse position. I have the seven of swords in the reverse, I mean, the upright position. And I have the nine of cups in the upright position. So um, just to remind you, this is a general reading. Uh, you go ahead and change the situation as needed. So it looks like you're working uh, pretty hard on something. It looks like you're rebuilding something. And um, for some of you, you're building something very new. It is extremely uh, positive what you're building. You're designing it. There's a lot of strategy behind it. And there's a lot of you're creating um, the money that's going to go into this endeavor. For those of you that can take it in a relationship, you're also creating the relationship, the, the pathway, clearing the pathway to um, bring this endeavor to fruition. You're building a very, very strong, long lasting framework here that's going to take you uh, it feels like through the rest of your life, it really feels like this is something that is um, a person, place or thing or situation. It is something that is lifelong. This is something that you're dedicated to. It means a lot to you. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of um, skill being utilized here as well. There's a lot of freedom in what you're doing. So if this has to do with a business, I do see it, it um, being put into place in a way that is, you're dealing with all the infrastructure up front. So uh, at a later time, you're not having to figure out solutions to problems. And so it's kind of like you're foreshadowing any kind of, uh you're designing the process and in designing the process you're paying attention to the detail so there won't be problems in the future so i feel like you're taking your time you're going slow and um it feels like you're growing stronger and stronger as you move through this process 
Now here in the two of coins, um, in the reverse spirit, bring it forward. Tell me more about this. It feels like it took you a long time to kind of make this decision, whether this be with person, place or thing. It feels like it took you a long time to actually get there. It took you a long time to make this decision about how you were going to spend your time and energy or who you were going to spend your time and energy with. It does feel like where you are holding back, uh, whether that be emotions or money or um, how to move forward because it was treacherous, it was unpredictable, anything could happen. I feel like there's a level of certainty now and you're very strong in the decision that you're making. Here in the Seven of Swords, I feel like you're... Uh, you're basically saying goodbye to something that doesn't work for you right here. Um, I apologize if I can't actually see how the light is reflecting on this particular deck. So I apologize if um, you can't see this very clearly. But the what, what it shows here, Spirit, do you, do you want to bring it forward again? What it shows here is that you're leaving something behind. It feels like you've done the best that you can. You did it with truth. You did it with authenticity. And you're taking what you can, what you've learned out of the situation, and you're just moving forward. I don't feel like this is something that you'll have any regrets over. I feel like this is something that just has to be done, and you're going to do it. It does feel like here um, uh, with the nine of cups, like you're really ready to put the past in the past. A situation that wasn't working for you, something that you may have been indecisive about. Um, I do feel here that you're really just closing a chapter here. It also feels here that you're um, making new friends, making, this is always my good riddance cup. <laughs> the nine of cups in this deck is always like, kind of like good riddance, see you later. Um, you know, if I never see you too soon, it'll be too, it'll be too soon, right? But that's not the energy coming out in this card right now. The energy that's coming out of this card is that you're welcoming in the new it feels like you're socializing with new people it feels like you are making new friends it feels like there's another part of you that you haven't ever explored before coming out it feels like that that you're having a lot of fun in the process and it feels as if you deserve it it feels like a well-rested kind of change in your life and i like that i like the feeling of fun behind this you've got a very mischievous energy about you um, as you go into this other part of your life here. So there's somebody or something or something that you're engaging in that's bringing out a lot of mischief in you. And, and I mean that in a very positive way. There's a lot of fun to be had here in your energy and you are definitely having fun with some people that are new to your life or something that is new to your life. If that doesn't make sense, it's coming in. I feel there's something coming in here that um, there's going to bring a lot of a lot of people around you and i feel like you're gonna really love engaging um with this situation here in the strength we have the hermit we have the eight of cups we have the five of swords in reverse and we have the sun card in reverse spirit can you bring forward here what's going on with cancer with the hermit in the upright the eight of cups the five of swords where you were conflicted about something, you're no longer conflicted. The spirit world is bringing forward the um, the card um, education. So there is something for some of you, it is a direct meaning. You are going to be now focused on something wholeheartedly. Where you have not been focused on this, or maybe you've let it go in some way, it does feel like for some of you, it's pure academia. You're going to be going after something that is um, not passive in nature, but something that you're going to take full on and you're going to concentrate on and you're going to spend your time and energy on. It does feel like this is going to open up a lot of doors for you, Cancer. And it feels like for some of you, you've been procrastinating. And this is where I see you kind of going into this hermit mode. It's because for some of you, you're studying. For some of you, it's research. For some of you, it has to do with building um, something new in your life. And so you're retreating, but you're also 
and, and I get it directly, I have to say, for the most part, for most of you, what I get is education. So you're finishing something, you're doing something that's going to, that, and, and the thing is, is that it's caused some stress, right? Because it feels like it's something that you've wanted to walk away from several times. It feels like it's something that you just don't want to participate in and you want to find new horizons without it. But I feel here that um, with some balance that's being brought in with the Nine of Cups energy, you have kind of like this renewed desire to engage in whatever education this is that you need. Some of you have gone through some burnout. Some of you have gone through some disappointment in regards to this. Some of you are just kind of like fed up with the whole process. But you know what you got to do? You started something and you got to finish it for some of you. Um, in regards to the five of swords, you know, that's what I said before, you're not conflicted about it anymore. You're going after it. So spirit had me, you know, when I asked, do you want the sun card in the upright or in the, um, in the reverse, they, they said both. And, um, what's happening here is that when you do this part of your education, the sun card is going to, this is for your future, right? That's why the sun card is in the reverse right now, because the strength is that you can see that it will brighten your future. It will open doors for you. It will take you to lands that you have never experienced. It will take you to, to dynamics, to experiences, um, to a lot of things, people, places, and things that you've never experienced before. So for some of you, this really, I'm sorry, it's getting very, very specific here about education, but it's coming out that way. And so for some of you, this is the key. You got to finish something off. You've got to, um, uh, Spirit is just talking about budget here as well. You got to budget your time. You got to budget your energy. You got to budget your money. Spirit is making me feel here. And again, remember, this is a general reading. So we're kind of going in and out of uh, some very practi practical stuff here that's going on in your life. Um, and it feels here, um, Spirit says they're going to do love in a moment. I don't know how they're going to do that. I didn't bring another deck. But anyway, um, uh, so the Sun card, you know it's your future. You Well, you don't know it's your future. You're betting that it's a, it's a part of the process that will bring in the the freedom that you want. And um, I do feel like this is imminent, Cancer. I do feel like it's taken a lot for you to focus, but I do feel like you have the motivation now to do that, whatever that is. In the challenge, what we have here is the Emperor in the reverse, the Five of Coins in the upright, the Ace of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Ten of Coins and the High Priestess in the upright position. Spirit, do you want to bring it forward what's going on here? So one of the things that I feel like you're doing is building something new in your life because there's been a lot of abandonment here in the Five of Coins. It's really thrown you off your game, but it's sitting in the challenge position. So there is this unknown factor that um, should you bite the hand that feeds you is what Spirit is telling me. Should you go after something completely new that's been un it's not proven in your life yet to be a success there's there's a lot of um wondering if you're doing the right thing for some of you for others of you it you know here um it, you know here we go from kind of you crafting your own path to the emperor in reverse where there's something that you're doing it could have to do with education where it's not something that you're choosing to do it's something that you have to do right so the emperor is in reverse here because it's just kind of being um it's just kind of jumping through hoops rather than crafting your own path but it, you know it's kind of like um if you are a um i don't know if you are uh I don't know. I can't think of an example. Spirit, give me an example. If you're a nurse, if you're a nurse and you've studied nursing, um, you're going to have to take your license if you actually want to practice as a nurse, right? So you may have the education, but you may not have done the exam. And Spirit is showing me that's where the challenge is. It's kind of this is out of your control. This is not something strategic that you're engaging in. This is something that is just a part of what needs to happen. 
And so that's a challenge is kind of like the situation um, right now, you're not meeting its full potential because there's something missing that you have to complete. Again, please change up the situation to as it pertains to you. So here we don't have a new beginning and that is very frustrating for you in the last week of um, April. April, I mean, uh, what month are we in? May. Um, so the other thing that I'm picking up suddenly uh, cancer is that it's so strange because as soon as whatever this is a licensure certification completion of a degree something very official here in education for some of you but once you do it like I, f I feel like the floodgates opened in regards to offers opportunities the things that you've been building on your own your side hustles suddenly everything blooms all at once and it's spectacular and so here we have the ten of coins and the high priestess and spirit makes me feel that somewhere deep down inside the challenge is, is that you know this and you're having to wait for it to happen there's certain actionable steps that you must take to make this happen and so um you've been avoiding it too long <laughs> cancer um and in the outcome we have the eight of swords self-imposed prison we have the Knight of Swords in the upright and we have the Four card in the upright. So what we have here in the outcome is some anxiety, some stress about um, any kind of endeavor that is very structured like education and the need to do that. Like you've, there, there's, a, there's, there's a feeling trapped and feeling um, just like you you can't meet your own potential until these things are complete and then here in the knight of swords spirit bring it forward fast food fast spirit makes me feel the the quicker you get it done the quicker it's over and it's out of your life whatever the, and it is a challenge spirit makes me feel and the quicker money will come in the quicker abundance will flow the quicker emotions will flow whatever it is it's going to flow but you've got to do this and here we have the full card, the leap of faith. And so we have the first card of the deck ending your reading, which is a whole new chapter, a whole new beginning for you once you do this. So Cancer, I feel like the message of the reading, I'm going to go into your cards in a minute. And they wanted me to pull on love specifically for you. So just hold your horses for a second. But um, Spirit, do you want, want to... Want to uh, I, I lost my train of thought there. Can you help me again? Can you come back in, come closer? Can you give me the um, the outcome with the... Uh, with these um, Oracle cards? I'm sorry, can't, I'm getting information here. I can't walk and chew gum. Spirit, tell me you are starting something that is you know it, it, this is not anything new in your life this is something that's been ongoing it is something that you are very proficient in it is that you've just got to jump through certain hoops I do feel like you have support here I feel like you have a cheerleader on your side here the gentle gardener and so I do feel like there's a lot of belief in what you're doing. There's a lot of, um, you have a lot of skill in whatever this is. Spirit, do you want to go ahead and, and I don't know what you were going to pull in regards to love, but I don't have any room on the table. Uh, you want me to move? Okay. Well, this should be an extended reading, Spirit, just so you know. Just so you know. I'm not doing a whole new reading. And I'm not doing this for every re every sign either. So please don't. Please just, if you're going to do a general reading, bring out love also in it. You want me to put these away? <laughs> oh, I can't. So the spirit world. Those of you that work with the spirit world know what happens when you work with them. They're a funny bunch. All right, give me love for cancer. You want them and their person? But I've got half the cards in here. 
you want me to shuffle them oh cancer sorry about this it's like monty python's bloody show here isn't it in your reading today you want you want to do how cancer feels about their person and how the person feels about them but that's a whole separate reading all right whatever how does cancer feel about their person no okay how does cancer feel about their person <laughs> we got the eight of coins we've got the page of cups you want it in the upright thank you we've got anything else no how does cancer's person feel about them queen of wands Ooh, cancer holy shit you want all of them sorry cancer i didn't mean to swear cancer uh for those of you that are still with me and, and want to know about a love reading um how do you feel about your person well what we have here is the eight of coins and we have the uh page of cups and so you're very tentative about your emotions you're holding back a lot uh you're using um, more logic um one on one equal two in this situation rather than you going with the flow and but you do um there is there is the beginnings of definitely a lot of feelings that you have that you're holding back for this person for some of you you're kind of numb to the feelings that's what spirit makes me feel like you know um, in your mind that you really care about this person, that you even love this person. But for some of you, you're going through this situation where you can't feel it. And that's because you're using so much logic. But let's see what's in their energy because something is going on with their energy that's making you not flow in the energy either. Now, this person is um, most certainly passionate about you queen of wands i mean they are captivated by you and the issue is is how they feel about you we got the two of cups in reverse we've got the page of swords in the upright and we've got the ten of coins in the reverse they're holding back they're a scaredy cat so they're they're kind of holding you at arm's length is what it feels like what it feels like is that again we've got the two pages right we've got the page of cups and the page of swords and so for you um there's this kind of new kind of vibe of love and and wanting to kind of step into that energy and for them they're being extreme and here you are matching the energy with logic right so they're being very logical and um pragmatic and they're they're doing everything in their power to block their emotions right because we've got the ten of coins in reverse we've got the two of cups in reverse and so where they're sitting is with this passionate energy rather than kind of getting to know you is what it feels like um or being on your level you're 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 um mirroring their energy and it's costing you cancer uh, so what we have for them in this situation, how they feel about you, we have the star card in reverse, the seven of coins in reverse, and the four of cups in reverse. And so, spirit, why do you want me to do a love reading? Bloody hell, I don't like the way, the way this is going. Um, you're triggering this person cancer you're triggering them they don't want to be hurt in love they are very protective of their heart very protective of their emotions um we've got the four of cups in reverse where the past is in the past for them it, it's not like they want the past to come back or if you know past they're not focused on anybody from the past 
Um, but they have not forgotten uh, subconsciously, unconsciously, uh, how it makes them feel that the song, that song is coming forward. Um, Please don't make me love again. And um, I think it's a Tom Jones song, but it's this, you know, this whole song about not wanting to love. And the, and the whole thing is that, that um, they're falling in love, but it's just the, the pain of love is, is so raw, so sharp, so they're so defensive that um, anything that comes close to love uh, it reminds them all the pain comes up, the Fort Knox comes up, the barriers come up, everything just, you know, they just shut down. And um, the only thing that they show you is physical energy as, a, as opposed to uh, verbalizing how they feel. But look at all this of what they're feeling. I mean, I don't know if they're feeling it because damn, they're just kind of um, they're so defensive. So what do you do in that situation? What, what should cancer do, spirit? What should cancer do? Understand. Understand that understand that they they need your help to navigate through this um you know we're, we're all going to get wounded at some point in love uh whether it be through family um intimate relationships but we've all been there if you haven't been there yet trust me you're going to be but it it's having empathy compassion and leading them out of the darkness and understanding that that you know what we have here in the six of swords is um, if you love that person, um, I, I, you know, the thing is, is it, there's a difference between falling in love with somebody that and and loving them and having expectations of them. And I feel for many of you, this is somebody that you've fallen in love with, not somebody that you can love, because there is a big difference. And if you have fallen in love with them, then what they need is time and patience and. And in a way, the way that they kind of get rescued out of this darkness is to have somebody to navigate them through um, through this difficult situation of uh, opening up their heart again. So it's going to take patience. It's going to take a lot of tolerance. It's going to drive you nuts. You know, there's no two ways about it, Cancer, because what it's forcing you to do is move, you know, because you're not a, um, a logical sign. You're a very emotional, very sensitive, very empathetic. You don't hold your love back. But what you're doing is you're going from your heart energy into your head energy because you're mirroring them. And I don't know if that's a good idea because you know, this person feeds off of validating their own kind of distorted view. And, and when you pull away like that, what ends up happening is that's reason for them to pull away too. So remember, you, you know, when you, when you are in love with somebody, sometimes you just have to step back and allow them to unfold, give them the time that they need and give them that gentle guidance, that gentle whisper, the gentle encouragement that, that you're there for them and um, you're not going anywhere and stop having expectations of them. So they can come into their own and they can turn all of this around. Cancer, sorry that went on a bit um, and uh, Join me for your next reading. I hope the reading was helpful. Thank you.